All right, YouTube, so we're back again already with some more Fallout content. In regards to the upcoming television series, we also have a little bit for Fallout 4, which is kind of interesting. So the day after I made that last video, they dropped a blog post for the 25th anniversary. Now, the article itself is kind of whatever. It's mostly Fallout 76 related, but again, there's an update for Fallout 4 in the television series, which we'll get into those in just a minute. But I did want to revisit this image because somebody pointed out a detail from this image that I wasn't even considering or thinking about in the comments of my last video, and it's the location of the pit bull and the person in the door, around the door, right? Because generally speaking, at least with like Bethesda Fallouts and maybe even beyond, the pit boy is located on the left arm of the person. And obviously, you can see that the person has a pit boy on the left part of the silhouette, which should insinuate they're looking at their back. And if we're looking at their back, that means that they are leaving the vault. It seems so obvious now, but it makes perfect sense. I mean, that's a majority of the Fallout games is leaving the vault to go on a journey, right? And that kind of explains everything you're seeing in this image. The shocked face of the person, because the vault door's probably never been open before. The body on the ground, they probably had to fight to get their way out of this vault, etc., etc. It all makes sense now. I'm kind of disappointed in myself for not even considering that, but that's just one of the side effects from stepping away from the franchise for so long. I haven't sat down and played a Fallout game in quite some time. The update that we have for Fallout 4 is that it's finally getting a next-gen version or update. We'll read this really quickly and then we'll talk about it. It says, prepare for the future. A next-gen update is coming to Fallout 4. Coming in 2023, this free update will be available for Xbox Series X and S. PlayStation 5 and Windows PC systems, including performance mode features for high frame rates, quality features for 4K resolution gaming, bug fixes, and even bonus Creation Club content. I thought this was pretty cool because we've seen them do some enhancements to Fallout 4 in the past, but it's always kind of weird. Like, with the Xbox One X, they got it to 4K, right? But it locked the game to 30 frames. And then when it came to the Series X and S, they took advantage of the FPS boost that the console has, which put the game up to 60 frames per second, but it locked the game's resolution to 1080. So it looks like we're finally getting a combination of both of those. I love seeing this kind of a long time coming. I love Fallout 4, right? It's it's the game that started my YouTube journey. If not for this game existing, I might not have ever got onto YouTube. But also them adding in some more bug fixes for the game. I'm not even sure what bugs exist in the modern day. Obviously, no Bethesda game is ever patched to completion by them. Usually, it's a fan base. And then bonus like Creation Club content, which I never really got into the Creation Club shit, but that's still pretty cool that they're adding more content. As for an update to the television series, when it came to that 25th anniversary article that we looked at previously, they put out like a two-minute video kind of just talking about the upcoming series. Now, the majority of that, it's kind of cool, but it doesn't matter in terms of, like, updates for the series itself. But towards the end of the video, they do have a brief section with Jonathan Nolan, which is the director, the guy that directed Westworld or whatever. And he's being a little coy, so to speak, in the faux interview where he pretends like he doesn't really know what Fallout is, but he's on set for the Fallout series, and he has somebody in power armor hand him a Nuka-Cola off screen. A little bit about Fallout. Fallout? Fallout, the video game. I love video games. I'm not familiar with the Fallout. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. Thanks, Adam. So that's kind of funny or whatever, but he goes on to also throw some props to my boy Fallout 3 because he talks about how he wanted to be like the next great American writer, right? Like write the next great American novel, but then somebody gave him a copy of Fallout 3 and kind of changed his life, I guess, because he started working in television. Video game 25th anniversary is coming up in October. Fallout, Fallout. Yes, the post apocalyptic, humorous, dark, bleak, brilliantly written, uh, annoyingly playable. Yeah, how did, you, how did you get involved? Well, several years ago, I decided I was going to write the next great American novel. And then a friend gave me a copy of Fallout 3, and now I'm working in television. So we love seeing some respect thrown to Fallout 3, of course. But yeah, it seems like the guy is like maybe a legitimate fan of the series. And But the main takeaway from this, putting this stuff aside, because the interview's kind of whatever, um, the background, that's the main thing. We're seeing what appears to be a set for the television series, a very like wasteland-looking location. Now, it's not a whole lot we can really derive from the background itself because it's kind of generic, just destroy buildings in what appears to be kind of a deserty location, but the deserty location can kind of add credence to the idea of it being a West Coast Fallout, something we talked about in the previous video. Which, as much as I love Fallout 3, right, my favorite Fallout game, I do love the look of, like, the old school Fallout 1 and 2 and, you know, kind of New Vegas. New Vegas, I, I could have used a little more post-apocalyptic, like, destruction around the world. But I do love the deserty look of post-apocalyptic settings. Like, the Book of Eli, for me, is one of my favorite looking post-apocalyptic worlds. Something about that, like, dusty, dirty, like, desert, shanty town, kind of Mad Max look. Like, I just love that shit. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite settings for post-apocalyptic. And that's what this could be right here, right? But it is just one set, one location for shooting. Like, the, that might not be what the whole series looks like. They, I'm assuming they're going to travel around, which I think is even better. As much as I like the deserty setting, I think it's better if they would travel around, like, the world, maybe the country. That's something we talked about before, like, a while back when we talked about the series. Is that the series has so much potential in what they could do because there's a greater world out there. We know that Fallout is very American. That's like the whole point with the series a lot of times. But there is still an entire world that was affected by the Great War. So like, let's see the rest of it. But if this Fallout series doesn't end up being on the West Coast, which is what we're kind of assuming right now, from what we've seen with like the Fallout games, usually that is very deserty. 
but the very least, I would hope that they have the characters like maybe traversing the country. I don't know what year this is set in, but we're seeing power armor, you know, on set behind the scenes and also in this video. So obviously, there's going to be Brotherhood. I would assume. Maybe I don't know if they're going to do anything else with any other factions, but Brotherhood seems to be a part of it. There's something about this upcoming series. I go back to that live action trailer we got back in the day for Fallout 4 that I think looks fantastic and had to be some level of inspiration for them to want to do a live action series because it looks fantastic, right? If, if the series looks just like this then they have it, dude. Like, it just feels like Fallout. That's gonna be pretty much the video, my dudes. I wasn't expecting to have to, like, talk about the series again so quickly, but I'm not gonna complain about that. But the fact that we're seeing, like, this, like, set kind of fake interview thing, and then we obviously got the image the other day, I wonder if they're not ramping up to finally give us something for the series, because, like, it's been a while, right? <laughs> like, we talked about the last video. It's been, like, two plus years now, so, like... They gotta be pretty far along, I would think. Hopefully they drop a trailer in the next couple months or something. I definitely want to see what this series is gonna be about on Amazon. But also once we get more on that Fallout 4, like next gen update, we'll definitely cover that and talk about it too. Cause I'm definitely looking forward to checking out Fallout 4 with like 4K resolution, 60 frames at the same time on console. You probably already do that on PC, I imagine. But my dudes, that is the video. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash David YT. That's it. Bye. Till it comes to conclusions All the things that we thought we were losing I'm a ghost and you know this That's why we broke up in the first place Cause I want you to know